Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Tom Broxham from New Zealand. He's 18 hours ahead of us. Well, welcome Tom, how are you doing? Uh, thanks, you. thank you, Meher. I'm doing well right now, Survive it, surviving. <laughs> how is the future? 18 hours ahead of us, everything good? Uh, it's a little wet and windy, but other than that, it, it's not too bad. Um, the kids yeah. don't want to sleep anymore, but other than that, we're 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 good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank thank you for being here. So, Tom, on your profile, you mentioned most people not only hate networking, they don't know how, and they are terrible at it. So that's why we are here today. The, this cost their jobs, clients, promotion, time, and money. And you also mentioned some personal story that because you've been bullied while you were young and you had some near-death experience that taught you not to trust people. But now at a certain of time, you're now here to help people to overcome their challenges and networking. So, and, and finally you mentioned today's connection is tomorrow's opportunity. So I want to start from there. Can you elaborate that and how networking is important during the job search or even in my opinion before the job search it, it needs to be well well before the job search and people get confused with networking they always just associate it with i need to find a job that is networking mm -hmm. uh, me asking for a job is like, no, no 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 that's not what it's in you need to go way way back and there's so much more to it. So the reason why I, I use the today's connection is tomorrow's opportunity is the person we're talking to today, the person we're talking to right now, whether it's sharing a coffee with, um, volunteering with, we're working with, yes. tomorrow that might be the opportunity that yes. we have. The way I do find my logo too is you see a tree coming, coming out of a cup. And so the cup of coffee is that that meeting we're having right now. Yes. And as and now we have good, strong roots growing from that. Yes. What ends up happening is from here, we our relationship grows, and you some just come and that different connection that we'll have from our original coffee, and then you start to see some maple leaves coming out on it, yeah. and that's represent all the opportunities, and also it represents the fact that I am Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> so, a big part of now it's building the relationships and this is where yes, people go nice. wrong yes. they always think uh i need to get a client so i need to network i need to get a job i network and while you will get more jobs and opportunities through networking yes. if the only thing you do is i need to go get work and go work oh wait i got a job now i'm not talking to anybody else i'm not going to network oh wait I'm unemployed now. I need to go network. Mm -hmm. It's the worst attitude. To have. Yeah. And it's not about what you get out of networking. It's about what you can give. And it's about the relationship. Yes. And that's what you always have to keep in mind is the relationship. I need, I need, I need. Yeah. It's all about building those relationships. And I always tell the students I'm teaching that from now till you graduate, your only job is to network build those relationships, put the seeds, don't ask for a job, it's all about them. So Tom, tell me about how did you find your job? Tom, tell me what skills do I need if I want to do your job in five years? And then when the opportunity comes, you can ask, hey Tom, by the way, your company is hiring, can you make a referral? Can you tell me about who is the hiring manager? And that's what you want, because that's how I found my first job. I knew someone who knew someone and they were hiring, and they just put my resume on top of the others because they trust, yeah. the recruiter trusts that this person will only refer good people. Exactly. And like, when you take a look at resumes, they, they, they all really look the same. Yes. It's, it's hard to do it. And then someone, when a recruiter is looking at 100, 150, you know, 500 resumes in a day, it's hard for you to stand out and I know the energy that I have that I can spit out right now while people see me and hear me is very different from that. Tom Roxham worked in accounting, does this, that, just that man. And that, how do I trust? Uh, okay, I've got 300 resumes for, for one job. 
or I have that one person that I know really well through a connection yes. or that I've worked with that person in the past or they worked with someone that I know I can trust that. But putting I'm in you, this one piece of paper that I have and looking through that and being like, oh, how how are they? Yeah. You know, it, it's it's really difficult. Yeah. And that's why like I like to network. Like the last time I did a job search in Canada, I sent out about 120 resumes. Mm-hmm. I had three calls. Was it so hours and hours wasted sending out resumes? And anybody who's ever applied online, you go, you see the job, and then now you go to the job ad. Now you go to their company specific page, and your whole resume that you nicely tailored up for them. You've got to put your name, in, so kind of like yeah. user password all the details out again or you can have the conversation with someone yeah. have a conversation with someone else yeah. and so of those three jobs i was rejected from one what right away and i got two interviews then the last time i was looking for work in new zealand i took residence but i had lots of coffees lots of uh chats mm-hmm. and then i got three interviews out of that one i rejected yeah, I rejected it. Really? One, I was rejected, and the other one, I accepted. So would you rather actually get to talk to someone, have yeah. a coffee with someone, have a conversation with them, and, and get a feel of person, or would you rather sit in front of your computer, yeah. send out hundreds of resumes, and get nothing? Maybe, maybe if you're lucky, a rejection email. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Canada. We are now rejecting you. <laughs> so which would you rather do? Yeah. Thank you for those great tips. And I also want to apologize for the audience. There might be some technical difficulties. We're hearing Tom, but there might be a little bit uh, voiceover. So I apologize for that. But tune in. So whoever is watching for the first time, I'm going to ask Tom a couple of questions. And I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can post, like, and share. So tune in next time for another great question with Tom. (laughs) 